Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm playing a new game. Probably wondering what this is. Well, it's made by the same people who made Adley Ryza. Hey, it's Koi Tecmo. You know them, they made Dynasty Warriors. And there's Ghost of Adley or Fame. Yes. Now, this is the first game of two games that are like this. Well, the first one is kind of different than the second one, to be honest. I really have that warning there about this being fiction. And again, people are cray cray. They can't tell the difference between fiction and reality anymore. Yeah, it's all Japanese dub, by the way. For those of you that are wondering. Yeah, blue blood. Bathe in blue blood, we're transforming body and soul into fiends. Yes. The reason that happened is because, um... You see, the church sent their assassins out to destroy the Night Lord, but, um... And doing so, they kind of screwed up and kind of, um, unleashed a bunch of blue blood all over the world that infected everything, and, um, it turned everything into, um, into monsters. Including animals and dolls and... Yeah. It's sort of like Gygus' influence from um, Earthbound, only not quite like that. I wish this was expanded upon, but, you know, Gus is... This has got a budget to work with, you see. I hope there's a Knights of Azir 3. And there's our niece. Um, she was the result of unethical experimentation by the church. This is pretty badass, man. Yeah, so he sent our assassin to destroy to destroy the arm to destroy the armies of night, but it kind of unleashed um kind of made everything worse, man. Of course, this isn't quite like the second game. I think the second game has a better story, but Second game also has a time limit going for it, which isn't in this game at all. And um, before the patch for the second game, they kind of had it run even in boss fights. Of course, they also patched it out to stop during boss fights. But I still say the second game's pretty good. Of course, you'll be rushing, rushing, rushing everywhere just to get through the time limit. Of course, if you play for the second time, there's no time limit. I will say Arnie's is really, really good. And there's her love and or I mean, um, her best friend. Yeah, she's not a love interest now. By the way, this game does have some um eerie elements. There she is, Lelise. Yes, it's me. And they look really good, man. Look at char character models. That's why he says really pretty character models. I kind of wish Gus had a budget, though, um... I kind of wish Gus had a budget for their talent, man. Tim, Falcom, and Falcom, and Falconware are, or Falcom, or Tim, uh, Vanillaware, and Falcom, well, they really deserve it, man. Only in this, only this is a clown world, and, um, get AAA developers like freaking Komani and, um, freaking, 
freaking EA that got all the money in the world and they put out junk, man. Mmm. With microtransactions. Oh yeah, does Konami even make games anymore, man? You know, aside from Pachinko Machines? Yeah, although, um, I think Microsoft buying freaking Bethesda might be a good thing. Since Bethesda is... Bethesda is, um, kind of known for... things? Right, um... Alaric Yoon, that does not look like an Alaric Yoon to me. That is a fae. Yeah, so Darnie says servants with her too, just like um Alush does. So of course she has three of them. Alright, I guess I'll summon a servant. Yes, and servants have special moves that you can use burst with. That one's especially useful because um, it inflicts bleed on an enemy. And bleed is a really good status effect in this game. It lowers defense, it, it inflicts damage over time. Uh oh. Yeah, our knees got damaged, so we need to summon. We need to summon a Larry in. And this one can obviously heal you. They give you they give you a couple of good ones right off the bat, man. The third one I really don't think is quite as good. Yes, yeah, so I've already I already know what Servant Burst does. But I can that does pick up some HP. Of course, our knees can fight too, which is pretty good. In a lot of ways, this game kind of reminds me of Lost Kingdom. Lost Kingdom is a GameCube game. Which was done by From Software, of all people. You know, them, they made Dark Souls. Of course, Lost Kingdom is definitely nothing like Dark Souls, man. See, From Software, back in the day, they actually used to make a bunch of... Really weird experimental titles before they really hit it big. And, um... Lost Kingdom was one of them. I'll use my Golem as a distraction because he has the ability to be one. He kind of draws enemy attacks towards him. The bad thing about the Wood Golem is that he's weak to fire. But he does have a massive HP reserve. Alright, let's summon all our guys. First, the red dino is pretty good, but there's also a blue dino you can get that does pretty much the same thing. Only it's a little bit better, I think. Of course, the, of course Alerion never leaves your party, man. Alerion is really, really good and vital to the game, man, especially once it starts... Getting a little bit harder towards the end. Like against a couple of the bosses. Alright, now let's get into this, um... Let's get, um, into this game. The game does have official artwork where, um... Arnie's and Lilies are kind of romantic with each other. Yeah, Gus also has that with the Adelir Ryza, though. Hey, that's the red... That's the Blood Moon! Oh, we know who's behind this. Lumina Knight, yes. She's the one that was behind the killing of the Night Lord, man. Of course she is. I want to revive the Night Lord, okay. 
No, we can't let him do that, man. I know they kidnapped Elise, the best girl. Or, I mean, Arnise is obviously the best girl. Person, Knights of Azir 2, um, Arnise is in the main heroine's harem in that game. Or, I mean, um, no, there's not a harem in that game, no. Except there's a harem of girls in that game. Yes, they're called lilies, by the way. Yeah, I'm not joking, they're really called lilies. Alright, let's fight these guys. Now, we gotta be really careful because, um, some enemies do have rare drops, and some of them do drop items that let you get more servants. Obviously, you want some of those. Yeah, you're, yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get them all. It might take multiple attempts to get them, man. So as you can see, I'm into the lore of this game. Of course, I wish I, I wish I finished up the true ending of this, this game and, uh, of course, the second game. The getting true ending of this one is you have to. You have to finish the main story and then play it again, but you have to get a bad. You have to get somewhere of a middling relationship with our niece and release. Yeah, if you get the best and if you get the best possible relationship, then you can't get the good ending. Yeah, that's kind of weird, huh? You would expect the best possible relationship not to do not to do that, but no. Of course, the second game also requires you to play it again because of the time limit. Which is very yeah, the time limit's not that strict, though, but... Listen, the first thing you should do whenever you play the second game is, um... You should definitely get more time. Those are the first things you upgrade, man. Oh. Yeah, those are the first skills you upgrade, man, so you can get more time out in the field. Obviously, that'll help you explore dungeons. First, in this game, getting more time is actually not that good. Which we'll get into later with side quests. No side quest in this. Oh wait, I think I. Oh yeah, I remember what it was. It wasn't side quests. It was daily activities. See, you need to do daily activities in order to boost. In order to boost your points, so you can unlock moves and stuff. Here we go, this is the hotel we're supposed to go to. Her niece is lovely, isn't she? Hmm. Guess though he has really good character design. Yeah, and there are actually dudes in this game, unlike the second game. I'm pretty sure there were no dudes in the second game, man. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, I am Simon. I am not a Belmont. I'm obviously a vampire, you see, just like you. Yes, the priestess has been kidnapped by a dragon, and the dragon wants to take her as an offering to the Night Lord. Can't let him do that. Of course, in the second game, it gets even better because there's a because the main villain is a lesbian um demon lady who um wants who wants her bride, man. And if she gets her bride, she'll destroy the entire world. Also, she'll destroy the entire world if she doesn't get her bride, man. Especially if the moon runs out of time, man. Yep, you can buy items. Obviously, you want to buy those. You can get money on the field to help you out. Of course, the thing to get is, um, obviously, stun. All of infinite darkness. Could we clear that? I'll check out whatever event is here. Yes, we don't want... Yeah, purple blood is what happens when you're, um... Purple blood is what happens when you have a mix of red and um, blue blood, you see. That's what our niece has, man. Alright, where can I buy items? Oh, right, I'm supposed to equip something, aren't I? 
Increase HP, restore 3 HP, that sounds pretty good. Of course, we will get better ones. Right, I forgot. You're supposed to equip... Catch. I like using this. We'll reduce the cooldown. Have this to increase your SP because I want you to be able to do the food things. Defeat beans, they drop relics. Obviously, you want as many relics as possible. Damage received enemies is reduced by four. Oh, the blue diamond. The ones you want are the pink diamond, of course. Pink diamond is really, really good. Negate the effect of bleed. That is a, some, that's something you might be interested in. Gun resistance increased? Yeah, you probably would want that. This one's not bad. This one's not bad to start with. No additional effects other than that, though. Okay. Yeah, that's a black cat. Those are cute. Who notes? Okay, might as well read the note. There's a save point right here. Suppose I want to save my game. And the second game, you're actually given a chance to... Actually given an option to restart from certain areas, man. Of course, what we need to do is get stronger and unlock more weapons. The thing I want to unlock, of course, is the daggers. Of course, you can switch between any weapons pretty quickly on the fly, but... Save the Priestess, of course we want that. The first level. Alright, our first order of business is to get to the gate. Gates are teleport points and levels, and you're gonna want those. Areas overrun by black butterflies are dangerous. Right, so butterflies are evil? So it wouldn't be the first time butterflies were associated with death and loss of souls. I mean, you might have heard of Crystar, but... I don't want you bullying my dude. Obviously, grab as many bottles as you can. Don't worry too much about spamming skills, man. Enemies will drop them. We'll drop them MP restores. They're nice and generous with the items. Now. Obviously, you want to protect your healer as much as possible. Also, you'll notice that we're picking up blood. That's going to become important later. Right now, though, that's not really an option right now. Basically, you collect blood to level up. Now, watch out for enemy phase. These will occasionally drop moonstones, which you need, which will help you upgrade your serpents, plus you can summon another one into your phase. Yeah, you can summon another alert yoon. Of course, you won't be able to do that until you get a second deck. 
Oh, it dropped her. It dropped some money. Hey, I want the money, man. I'm just so enveloped in greed and money. I can't help it, dude. Ooh, grass. Yes, and you can cut this just like in just like Zelda. Obviously, you see, we have a time limit, but it's not really that important, man. Because we're not really, because there is a time limitness, and except you're not really timed on anything. Yeah, the way is blocked there, and there was a cat that spawned. The cats are very helpful, but um, yeah, cats basically, if you get if you get them as a servant, you can get rare items. You can get rare items pretty easily. Now be careful of enemies. I like that item that helps you regen some of your health. That's very good. That was a good item to start with. Ooh, looky here. Obviously, you want to grab the memories. Alright, let's go. Into the next part of the map. Oh, I know what that is. That's a fetish. That's what you get. Uh, it's not that kind of fetish, guys. It's, um... Fetish once had a different meaning, you see. And, and um, different fetishes let you summon new servants, man. Hey, you took my ring and swallowed it, man. Yeah, the cat might... I think that ring was actually important because... I think I remember something about that cat. Obviously, be very careful of getting hit by enemies. And obviously, you want to inflict the bleed status. It does help you deal with tight, tankier enemies pretty easily. Also really good against bosses, because all the bosses are vulnerable to status effects. Good, we got him. Ooh, more money. Oh, I know he's trying to do drop other things other than money. Pretty sure those are the red bags that... Pretty sure we're supposed to find red bags for that. Obviously, you might want to press circle. Obviously, the Fae are really weak in it. They do heal the other enemies, though. Is there more that spawn? Oh, there's the other enemies. Obviously, servants can destroy certain obstacles. Oh, we got a, we got our first item, man. Oh, look, and and they destroyed this. As we'll take the attack up. It's a temporary buff, but it will help you a little. Now watch out for the magic bolts. As for this mansion, you have no choice but to be level one. The ability to level up doesn't unlock until later. At least, actually, after this mission, man. Good, we got him. The temporary defense up. Oh, he dropped another item. Blood spear. Okay. Actually, looking for more knuckle dusters, but whatever. The top hat. Obviously, the reason I want knuckle dusters is because they add stun, and stun is a really good is a really good thing in this game. Obviously, you want really high stun. Yeah, 
how much more damage you do when you when you bleed an enemy. Really good, man. Cats are a little tricky, man. Obviously, only the servants can destroy these objects. But you broke it. More enemies. Of course, what else would it be? Pretty sure you can get a spider surfing off one of, off a spider. Of course, there's recolors of it, other of certain enemies. Only a certain one of them dropped um the item dropped new fetishes. But your items to summon more servants, man. Yeah, you you might want those. I believe the spider one lets you um do the web area like they did right there, which can slow people down. Ooh, the knuckle duster that's what i want obviously the knuckle duster adds stun so it's a really good item you're definitely gonna want it of course there is another item that is better for stun but it also drains your hp rapidly man i don't recommend using that one unless you're a mad lad and have lots of recovery oh there's the door over there yeah, that one leads back to the hotel. Hello. Hello there, butt plug and service butt plug services here. How may we serve you today? Do you want us to deliver you a butt plug? <laughs> if so, what kind of butt plug do you desire? Yeah, so I'm gonna pretend that. Yes, I am going to pretend I didn't hear that. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. Hang up. I totally didn't do it on purpose, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not very funny, am I? Sorry. <laughs> Cringe. Sorry, I tried, but I'm not very good, man. Here, right, I'll I'll keep jokes like that to a minimum then. Yep, you can use the door to go to go to other places in the map. Oh, what kind of ritual? Oh, yeah, right. You're supposed to actualize the ritual. You need blood to be able to do it, though. Actually, you need blood for a lot of things in this game, man. The big thing that we got, the big thing that we got, of course, is this. Increase stun damage by 10. Obviously, you don't want to be stunned yourself. Store 2 SP per direct hit, that's not bad. Defense and HP up are pretty good. In defense should be what I focus on right now. Maybe we should equip. Oh right, I forgot. You're supposed to supposed to unlock equip slots in this game because with your activity points, and you have to level up certain act certain. That doesn't become relevant until later, though. Right, I'm supposed to actualize one of them. And this one is a killer doll! Hey, it's Mary! Hello, Mary! No, I don't want to name it. I want to name it Mary, man! Why won't you let me name it? Okay, Lisa Bella is pretty good, too. Yeah, she has a big wind-up thing on her head, man. Yeah, she can deflect projectiles and protect allies from attacks. Obviously, we need to put her on the team. 
That'll be good for right now. Hey, I am not grumpy. Yes, I am beautiful and strong. First, the doll is really cute. Alright, we should probably equip the doll with some stuff. In fact, I have an idea. I'm gonna MLG this, man. Let's see, we need to equip you with stun. You're pretty vital to the team, so you need that. I think increasing your HP would be pretty good. Look quite good, too. Give you more defense. Alright, let's head out. Oh, there's an event with my wood golem. Yeah, he wants he's he wants nature to be he wants nature to be a cool thing, man. I don't blame him. Nature is cool. Nature is fun. Nature is also really pretty, but also very dangerous. Let's go to the inner garden this time. And let's begin our purification. Purification in progress. We are going to purify all the adversaries, man. Yes, by that I'm making an off reference. Does anyone here even remember off, man? Of course, you... Alright, let's go into this big area that's solely not a boss fight area. Alright, that's good. We stunned him. See, that's why stun is really good in this game, man. And we beat him, so we get a big prize, man. Blood bonus, cool. We got a lot of blood off of that, man. Damn, they got a whole front line and back line. That's pretty cool. That's pretty well designed. Of course, they're still level one. There are stronger enemies up ahead, but you don't want to fight those yet. Obviously, we're still level one ourselves, man. Obviously, you take care of the enemy fairies first. We will heal their allies, man. Watch out for the... There we go, we took care of them. Hopefully we get some MP back. We used a lot in that little boss fight, man. for the area of effect for these guys. I'll slow you down a little. And we gotta protect the wood golem from these guys because they're fire attribute. Seriously, fire... Seriously, it's the only thing that's affected by any... that has any sort of attribute or is affected by anything. Hmm. I hope the next Lights of Azir game is like this one. I think I would like that. I think I would like that really good. As opposed to the second game. Well, I like the second game's story a lot better than this one. Um, personally, I feel it's not quite as good as this one. That is gameplay-wise. Plus the time limit in that one is kind of... 
real pain to deal with. Although not really. You can, you can complete your missions before the time limit goes out, but... Alright, you see that way over there? You don't want to go there. There's stronger enemies over there. Alright, the boss is up ahead. We're gonna have to be really careful now. Oh yeah, our niece also has transformations that are really cool. In fact, we might get to see it in this in this area. I forgot how you do them now. Basically, they're tied to whatever el basically they're tied to whatever element is um in your deck. I guess it does matter a little bit. All right, this guy is actually pretty tough now. Alright, here's no time limit in boss battles, which is pretty good. That's how it should be. Watch out for the area of effect. Alright, it's stuns. That's good. It's not done yet, though. It's too powerful. We need to activate our transformation. We were doing so well up to this point now. Wait, what? Black butterflies? I don't like that. Black butterflies are, um... Actually, the Night Lord is not really evil. They're just, um... I don't know, a force of chaos or something. I don't know. I guess that's somewhat evil. Here's how it's betrayed in this game. It's a bit like um Cthulhu if Cthulhu was like a neutral was like a chaotic neutral character, man. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so basically they were inspired by Atlas, man. Use this, it'll help you defeat the Threeville. Yes, use this demon sword that will kill a uh, Threeville. Don't do it, dude. Yeah, you see, our niece was given the Night Lord's blood, man. Yeah, an array for unethical experimentation. She's like Type Null. Except done by the church. Yes. Why does the church do why did the church do this again? Alright, now that we got that, we should unlock the transformations too. Yeah, Mechvic scene. Although canonically, um, canonically, our niece does become the Night Lord in the Night Lord. At least that was her form in part two. All right, now we're getting a transformation. Thanks, Night Lord. Thank you for the thank you for the power boost. I guess. Now let's get out of here. Alright, let's do it. Let's wreck stuff. Alright, does the boss start back with full HP, man? Yes, I have a sword made of my blood now. L2 to transform, which is right over here. Alright, you can only do it if you have a full gauge, though. That's really, really awesome. And there's more than one transformation in the entire game, man. Watch out for the area of effect.
All right. All right now. Damn, isn't it great? See, you just you just unlock him and then hit him for big damage. There we go, whack him. See, that wasn't so hard. Why did I have trouble with this guy the first time I played, man? And obviously, you get a whole ton of blood. Or I mean, blue blood, obviously. Ooh, and you get some items. The vampire bat is especially helpful because it increases. Because it increases blood with combos, you see. That means you can get a lot of blood off of bosses, obviously. And you can refight any of the bosses. Oh. Yes, um, please hug me and get on top of me. Yes, it's only not Yuri, guys. What are you talking about? We beat that guy easily. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh hey, there happens to be a phone here. Man, that is one weird looking phone, man. I don't trust it. Uh, Ernest wants to stop Lilise from sacrificing herself, but. But Lilise wants to sacrifice herself to stop. Um, stop everything from falling asleep forever and ever. Yes. It's an endless ritual, man. Hey, look, it's a black postcard. Is that from Mary? Wait, I believe Kakua was the Kakia was the one that had that. Yeah, she received a postcard from Kakia. You know, from NG. I, also, I played NG last year. It's a cool game. You might want to check it out if you're into um that sort of thing. Obviously, it's not an RPG or anything. It's more of a visual novel. Only it's a more visual novel where your choices matter. And you're supposed to find items and point and click. Yeah, it's a bit like that. I personally think Deathmark is a little bit better. Only because Deathmark had a lot more creepier stuff in it. And I noticed you guys do like Mary from Deathmark. Yeah, um, the freaking bad ending with Mary has gotten really popular for some reason. I'm just happy that at least one of my videos has over a thousand views, man. Normally, they don't get anything. My dear Arnis. Search for the holy site. Wait, is there supposed to be a space between the holy? Hmm. Expert translation, guys. You're supposed to offer her as a, as a sacrifice. Yeah, don't save the saints. Uh oh, the night lord seal is wakening. Yes, we require human sacrifice. Yes, the church requires a human sacrifice to seal away the demon that um they um that they killed, unleashed the blue blood all over the place, and screwed up the world. So why do people believe in this church again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're totally the good guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 
Oh, I want to save Arnie. I want to save Lily's from the sacrifice, man. Which, um, you actually do in the true ending to this game? Of course, you can't get it on the first playthrough. Sorry to say. Ooh, we completed chapter one! Excellent. I believe there's some stuff that unlocks, too. Alright, let's head out to the lobby. Wait, what? Is that a maid outfit? Um. Hello, Lilies. It's um nice to see you in a maid outfit. This is now available. Which interlude phase, black butterfly outbreaks. Alright, I guess we can do the interlude, I guess. We got a lot of blood. Ooh, and level up for my party, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Increase attack as HP goes down. Sounds like it'd be pretty good. Obviously, I think the base SP will be real better for today. Okay, you can kind of build your servants how you want. Gain consciousness faster. A portion of the damage dealt is absorbed as HP. That actually sounds pretty good. Alright, what do you got? Now, equipment savvy? No, you don't want that. That sucks. Very marginal bonus off that. Life drain, though, that, yep, that's what you want. Now, it says build blood increase by 10%, but no. It's actually not what it does. Obviously, increased stun damage is really good. Use this. So you definitely want this on a servant. Actually, it might be better than the other thing I got on the other servant. Of course, I'll save. I guess so. Save in my game. Cool. Alright, let's check out what the hotel has off. Oh, right. God, I wanted to... No, you're fine with the knuckle duster. Fine with the Mobius ring. There we go. That's actually really good. Use HP by 30, and you get you get a reduced SP cost. I think you might like the knuckle duster. Well, okay for right now. Obviously, though, this little fay is my favorite. Obviously, the fay is my favorite. Oh yeah, whatever one you have in the lead, that'll affect which that'll affect which transformation you get. Obviously, though, the purple one is kind of the worst. The red one is pretty good. The other one is also really good, too. I really like the blue one, though. There's also a fifth transformation that unlocks in post-game. Or, I mean, um, when you play the game again. Yeah, in the second playthrough. You do get a fifth one that's actually really, really powerful. Obviously, our niece is Night Lord form. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. Hey there, tell me what's up. As a rule, I don't accept that kind of charity. No, I don't need your funding. No, we only accept money that we earn. No. Alright, and he wants us to do jobs? 
Those will help you get a little bit of extra money, but not that you really need them. Oh well, I guess I'll do them. I guess I'll do a class or two. It can't hurt, right? Change of pace, go to a specific area. Sure, I'll accept that. Go to outskirts. All I gotta do is go to outskirts. Can't accept more quests later. Two diamond is really good if you equip it to servants. Obviously, this is really good too. We don't have a lot of money to work with right now. Kinda nice just to fuck about. First, can we take a moment to admire Lily's and very cute maid outfit? Or, I mean, um, not, not that I would be into that sort of thing, no. Okay, you can have a mugwort. Alright, now we need to head out, I guess. Side quest wants me to go to Central Square. So obviously that's what we're supposed to be doing. See, that's right, reduce SP cost is really good because you can get your servants out really quickly. And also reduce the cost of their skills, obviously. Which is really good for more offensive ones and it's especially good for your healing ones. Just a lot of basic, a lot of basic enemies that you've encountered before. Don't worry, they're nothing. Well, obviously, for right now, we should probably head over to the outskirts if we can find it. Of course, I believe they're this way. Don't forget to grab the purple potions; those are very important. Obviously, you want to grab money as much as possible. No, I've kind of taken up to writing a little bit of horror stories. Some of them are a little bit more jokey, man. I did write one on... about the freaking Castlevania Pachinko machine. I mean, Castlevania Pachinko is really good, but, um... No. I just used it to reference a lot of the Castlevania games that I... That I played personally, like Circle of the Moon and um and of course um Symphony of Night and um yeah, that's pretty much the ones I played. Also did I didn't even reference Portrait Rune. I probably should. I mean I like Portrait Rune. Of course my of course the best part of Portrait of Rune is obviously a star day. Not, 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 not that I'm into that or anything, no. Right, um... No, I'm not a degenerate, dude. Or, I mean, um... Nah. See, all you gotta do is arrive at a certain place and you'll be able to complete the quest. Obviously, we should collect as much blood as possible. First, Castlevania Pachinko Machine was so bad that it killed me and my entire family. And my dog. You know why- you know why it did that, the freaking Kona? You know why it did that, man? It's cause Castlevania Pachinko is so good, man. Hmm. It's slowly not bad. 
Yeah, just killed all the characters. Hmm. It was so spooky that, um, hyper realist that, um, freaking Dracula was hyper realistic and, um, had bleeding eyes because. But, and, um, yeah. And it had a message written called, I am God. Written in dark red chiller fonts that looked a lot like blood. Ooh. Because, of course, it did, man. Yes, I am become skeleton and now I'm, a, now I'm in. Or Dracula's castle, man. <laughs> Thinking of Castlevania, this kind of reminds me of that one, one Castlevania, that other Castlevania. Kind of reminds me of a PS2 Castlevania game. Not to say that that's a bad thing. It's better than the N64 games. I think I should get the two PS2 Castlevania games. And try them out myself. I've never actually played those. Hopefully they're not like the N64 Castlevania. Yeah, N64 Castlevania is not really good. I actually did play it before on um from when I borrowed it from a friend. Yeah, and there was that one mission where you had to walk with the freaking nitroglycerin bottle. A magic nice to closer and that would go off if if you jumped or if you attacked or if you got hit or if you bumped into an obstacle yeah I don't want to do that man I can see why the angry video game nerd really didn't like that mission at least it's yeah at least it's not the freaking Simon's magic tornado man Speaking of which, I have never played Castlevania 2. That's because when I was growing up, I went from the NES to... I went to, from a few games to the NES to the N64, and... The N64 was kind of the first game that I really got. The NES was more my parents' console. And they had Mario Bros. on it. And also Mario Bros. 3. Obviously, we completed our quest, so we can turn in for today. Don't worry about the time limit up there. It's we can pretty much get everything done before the time limit gets gets you anyway. Besides, right, this will be a good opportunity to grind for some blood. Get a little bit more money. It's not like the first game whatsoever. But my guys are level two. Oh, he's gonna take me to the arena now. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, and on the 50th level, there's actually an arena where we can fight and test our skills. We can actually get some good items out of here. Especially, um, fetishes. There's one fetish in particular I want to get, and that's, um... There are a couple fetishes you'll probably want from this, but... These are very skill-based challenges. And some of them are pretty high level. You might as well try a few of them. Although it might be hard being only level 1 right now. At level 2 servants. Oh well, you do get good prizes for him now. Just destroy all enemies, it's easy enough. Destroy all enemies within the time limit, that's not too bad.
First, as you level up, it'll get a lot e As you level up and get more skills, it becomes a lot easier. Mark of Agility. Now what these marks do is they give your servants skills. They might want those. Servants will be provided. Ooh, now that one has now that one has a fetish available. That's what the rusty cutlass is. Mark of maturation is also really good too. Pretty sure one of them Pretty sure one of these marks um lets you um get over to Servan's level cap. Obviously you know blood. Leave from the enemies for one minute. Just run away from bad guys. Yeah, it's just the bullet hell level, man. Hey, we did it. And we got the Mark of Agility, cool. And of course all the blood bonuses are pretty good too. Really want that blood... Defeat enemies and accumulate enough power to transform. Obviously you get really good items too. Obviously it becomes a lot easier when you level up. The Rusty Cutlass is how you summon this guy here. So if you get it, you can summon a second one. Or you know, you can use um. You can also use them to power up your servants, if you get more of them. Meaning you can increase their base stats by certain by certain points, depending on which ones you got. Okay, I'll explore with you. Here, let's explore with our niece. Uh oh, these two guys. Yeah, those two guys will. Yeah, one of them has a trade route, which is pretty good. The trade route is also one of the ones where you can get a specific servant that's only found in it. I don't really find it that good, but you can do that. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, now we can go into the underground subway. And the subway is pretty good for finding some more stuff. Of course, I kind of want to redo some missions and get more blood going. Are you finally going to be able to learn how to level up? I believe so, actually. Yep, we're about to learn how to level up, and we're going to get our niece's, um... Ritual outfit. Um, it's a very weird outfit. Hey, look, it's Elise. Okay, why are you dressed in a negligee? Oh, well, never mind that. Let's. Hey, Kitty, what's up? It's a black cat. 
You're the one I'm supposed to talk to. Yeah, this is where you level up. Or blue blood, and you'll have to. Yeah, we can use that blood to level up. There's also certain shops you can use the blue blood for. And unfortunately, her niece has a pretty low level cap. And there's her ritual outfit. Bizarre, right? Yeah, remember back when Sony used to allow this sort of stuff all the time? <laughs> All right, let's go do let's go do the ritual, I guess. In this ridiculous outfit. Okay, yes, I want to get I want to get a little bit stronger. Yes, except the um energy, I guess. Now we have skills that are available. Now we got a little bit of skill points. Let's get a little bit of a relationship. Leave the choices here do affect your relationship. Yep, I'm right about that. You have to get somewhat of a relationship, but not too much, man. Alright, so she's... So basically, that um, Lilies is a Dream World Arnie's thing. Oh yeah, you'll be able to... Oh yeah, it's time to get some skills, man. And you can unlock some forms with weapons and stuff. Alright, this is the Pope and... You might see something familiar here. Yeah, this is the guy who's the The black cat, I knew something was suspicious. So she's the one sending the black postcards. That mean that means the Pope's identity is actually Kakia. Yeah, now, um, Akio's lore is kind of strange and interesting. She's basically a monster girl that, um, wants to do monster girl stuff, but to do it, she wants to basically, she basically kidnapped the protagonist's sister because she wanted to do monster girl stuff with them, the protagonist, by taking him, by forcing him into the spirit world and trying to brainwash him. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking killer dolls, man. Yeah, I'm not really joking. That's actually an NJ, man. Of course, it's actually supposed to be really scary, man. Scarier than I'm making it sound, man. Oh, what kind of... I'm not mad. It's just she keeps breaking my stuff. She keeps breaking my expensive china, man. That and she can't cook sweets. That and her sweets are kind of terrible. Please tell me what's bothering you. Oh, we're bringing that got eaten by the freaking cat, man. The cat ate it. Go get that cat. Okay, we're counting on you to get the ring from the cat.
Get to the station building, huh? Alright, I guess we're leaving. Try to pursue the cat. Cat went to Central Square, huh? Yeah, you can do the missions over again and level up. Level up, and also you can get some marks too. I do want to level up a little, and I do want to grind just a little bit. Of course, there's not really much of a point to it since there's a level cap anyway. He's teaching her how to be an employee. Now to be a cute maid. So that maid outfit is really cute. Um, not, not that I'm into that or anything, no. I don't know what you mean. Yo, what kind of event you got, dude? Aesthetic sensibilities? What do you mean? Let's see, I think we should get a... Sure, I like a landscape painting. Okay, thank you for the quest. By the way, what other quests you got? Eight skitterfoots. Those, defeat those. Basically, all these quests do take place in them there. Oh, yeah, we got skills to them. Word form. Word expertise is pretty good. They're both really good, too. Best accept up, that'd be really good. Of course, we don't really have that much to work with right now. I think I'll get dash attack for right now. <laughs> Alright, guys. What I'm going to do is save and quit. And I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had fun. With me playing this game. I realize it's not a game for everybody. But look. Look, doesn't our niece look really lovely, man? Look at her. She's the best. Anyway, see you later. Goodbye.